Morning. So, there's not much I want to talk about today. So I thought rather than just just talking about some shit that would be made up, I thought I'd do another music um, tutorial thing. Tutorial is a bit of a pompous term for what I do, but um, because I'm I'm no I'm no professional musician, but I do like the last one went down quite well. So today we are going to do one of my favourite songs. Crazy Man Michael. It was first done by Fairport Convention. And I can't remember exactly where I learned it, but it became one of my stables when I was actually playing a lot of music back in the day. And I put my own spin on it, as everybody should do when they sing a song because nobody wants a shadow of somebody else the tuning's bog standard I normally used to sing it without the capo but I've been told recently that it's easier for me to sing it with the capo and I have to agree Now, my friend Morris Condy, he likes to teach this as a, a first a first song for people. Because it goes through a lot of chords, the progression's fairly easy. If you go from the A minor, which looks like a little dinosaur head, so you got the head and the, yeah, little dinosaur head, ramp, half an umbrella, or you could just say A minor, C, G, whatever you want. It goes through a lot of the, the basic chords. So the, the the right hand is doing a straight up pick. Up and down. So that's the near minor, so you get your two fingers on the two middle two middle strings and then just give it give it a tail basically. I like to put a little run in here down, you don't have to. And that's an E minor, which is basically dirty. No, seriously, it's just them two strings, one down from the, or one up from the bottom. That's technically the bottom string, or the top string, depending on if, if you've been told it's the bottom string or not. The fucking thick one, that's closest to your nose. Just keep going like that. G, A minor. actually have a chorus um, 
my friend who I play du duos with, um, Renata, she hates songs like this. It's got far too many words to say. There's no chorus. I got her to play the guitar in it when I was playing the bass, and she was just she was like, because oh, oh, oh. there's <laughs> there's not much else to do. But what my point being is that it doesn't have a chorus per se, but it, it shifts a little bit at the end of every verse or the second half of every verse. So when you get through all of this shit, as you've seen, we'll play this twice. And again, and then it goes. When I say it twice, I mean you, you go up and down twice with your fingers. That's once, twice, Twi once, twice, twice. And then back into what you were playing for the, the first half of the verse. tell us a very cheerful song so I've got uh, what would be a Scruggs roll if it was a banjo but it's not it's a very nice Lakewood guitar bought on the cheap and I wouldn't part with it for the world but now what I do with this song is because obviously crazy man Michael is getting crazier as the song progresses so I like to add a bit on with each verse so the chords remain the same, obviously. If they didn't, it'd be fucking weird. But I like to put a pinch at the front. So if that's just a normal roll, if that's just a normal roll, you can pinch it. So if you see these two fingers, yes, I know, I've got fingernails like a pup. So that's what you put in. to do that lock yourself out it don't matter but I like to do this partly if, if you've been playing the guitar for a bit and you want to you know mix it up a little bit you don't want every song to sound the same that's a great thing because you can this song is the one that I use to teach everybody the different fingers finger patterns of the, of the right hand if I was teaching people, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a guitar teacher. I'm just doing this because apart from that daft copper wife down in Leeds, there hasn't been much going on this week for me. So, second verse. Mm -hmm. 
Michael he ranted, Michael he raged, and he beat the four winds with his pistol. He laughed and he cried, he shouted and swore, his mad mind was locked in a kiss. So now when I go back to the the second lot of chords for the second half of a verse, the one that starts with A minor, you might remember. I go back to the original style. You speak of an evil and you speak of a hate. You speak of the devil that haunts me. Just for the first bit and then. Is she not the fairest in all this broad land? Sorcerer's words set to taunt me. So what I'm gonna do is why don't we since this is a play along video completely planned to the nth degree of course because why the, why the hell wouldn't I? Of course I didn't just stand up out the shower, put my clothes on, put a guitar in and say, I'm making a music video. I would never do that. Right, we'll just go through that again a few times, shall we? Keep going. Let's go for the second bit. Without mistakes, then. You might notice that I, I, I funny you fuck around and I put little, I, I'll change, you know, I might, I mean like that one, like, uh, it just, it just sounds nicer. Once you get the feel of the guitar, once you've played it, you'll hear something in your look, your ear, or your head, and then you'll know where it is in the guitar and you, you'll just go for it. This is just, this is just relaxing and letting things happen. But it doesn't happen unless you put a, a considerable amount of work in beforehand. Now, as you've probably guessed, I do something different yet again for the third verse. This is a little funny. There's a fella called Mick Balls. Uh, who was my first guitar instructor and he taught me he did teach me the pinch technique and then I decided that um, I was I was doing another song and I decided that I wanted I was gonna use it then I changed it then I changed it again so it's a pinch and I don't know what to call the other bit because without the pinch it's sort of like a So, your two bass strings, it's an, uh, I suppose an abbreviated rule with these two fingers. Then once, ah, very mature, I know. So, by the way let's put the pinch in after a few more
So, we've got this now. I'll go play that for a bit. Nice and slow. Get used to it. Sounds a little bit busier than the last one, doesn't it? But the poor fellas go, you know, yep shit. Second bit is and then for the tail end shit. Out a dagger of fire and steel, he struck the poor bird in the heart. Oh. The raven it fluttered, the sky it had spin. Oh, it did wonder and sparkle. Where is the raven that I have just killed to lie here upon the ground? Oh. I see my true love with the wound so red. All of his heart it did pound. Oh. I have to say at this point, for people who know the song, they think you've just got the fucking words wrong. Uh, correct, I did get the words wrong. Um, my friend Morris, who also helps me. I might have got this song from him. I know two other people that sing it though, but Morris goes apeshit when I just... He says, Paul, you keep singing the wrong words. I'm like, yeah, I know, I just, uh, I don't... I keep them all in my head and uh, I try not to look at words when I'm learning. Um, this isn't an excuse for you, you rascals. So, you know, if you, if you like, suddenly, you know, you've become a professional musician and you're on stage and a bottle whizzes past your head and you someone shouts, get the words right. Give them, send them round to me. I've got enough problems. Now, we've got what? Three right hand patterns. There's four verses to the song. You just go back to the first one for the last one. Again, this is how I do it. I don't know anybody else who does it like this. They do all this other stuff. They've generally got bands, so. This is the way I like to do it though, so. So we've got the first one, obviously. Whatever you want. We've got that one though. No run down. And then we've got the second one. And the third one. song and say say what we end up with shall we with within a forest and over the sea crazy man Michael He met with a raven with eyes black as coal. Shortly he, they fell to talking. Future, your future, I would 
tell to you you often have asked me your true love will die by thy own violent hand crazy man Michael will curse be Michael he ranted Michael he raged and he beat the four winds with his pistol he laughed and he cried, he shouted and swore, his mad mind was locked in a castle. Speak of the evil and you speak of the hate, speak of the devil that haunts me. Is she not the fairest in all this broad land? The sorcerer's words said to taunt me. He took out a dagger of fire and steel and struck the poor bird in the heart. Oh, the raven it fluttered, the sky it did spin. Oh, it did wonder and startle. Oh, where is Raven that I have just killed lie here upon the ground. Oh, I see my true love with a wound so red. All of his heart it did pound. Oh, crazy man Michael, he wanders alone and talks to the night and the day. Oh. But his speech it is plain, and his eyes are sane, though he longs to be far away, oh. Michael, he whistles the simplest of tunes, and asks the four winds for their pardon. For his true love is blown into every flower grown. And Michael will be keeper of the garden. I forgot to mention the outro, so I like to go... And there's your pinch, and then the second string here. And then this funny chord, it's a B over a C or something like that. Um, I don't know how interested you are in that. Um, again, Renata says it's, it sounds funny because it sounds very open at the end, but I like it. So yeah, that is um, how I play Crazy Man Michael. That's the three progressions through of the right hand picking pattern, if you want. The chords at this end, pretty simple. Um, I don't know what else I can really say on the matter, so I will bid you a merry Saturday and I'm going to go and drink beer.